Hello everyone out there in YouTube land! So today, I'm thinking about doing something a little bit different. I'm starting a new series in which I will discuss a particular superpower. If this video gets positive feedback, I'll do more in the future. For today's power, I wanted to look into flight. Now, flight is by far my favorite superpower, and I'm mostly doing this video because I sincerely wish I had the ability to fly. Like, really, I've had dreams about it since I was a little kid. Being able to fly, being able to hover, and just float above the ground, I don't know why it's always been a big thing for me. And that's probably part of the reason Superman is my favorite superhero. Okay, so first off, in comic books there are numerous ways to fly. I imagine the simplest way to fly would be just to have wings, like Hawkman, Hawk Girl, and many others. You would need some really strong wings though, and I don't think you'd be able to fly in space. All Although they do fly in space in the comic books from time to time, and I think that's because the Thanagarians have magic, so they fly based on magic as much as they do based on having wings. But in any case, that's one way you could fly, is to have some really powerful wings as part of your body. Now the primary way and the best way to fly is the standard Superman type, in my opinion, where you can hover, you can fly super fast, you can fly in space, which is a vacuum, so you don't even need an atmosphere sphere to fly in, and so on. Uh, Wonder Woman has also been shown at times to be able to fly in this manner, although sometimes she can't fly, sometimes she has to use an invisible jet to fly, so it depends on what era, what or what show, or medium, whatever comic you're looking at. And many of the other DC superheroes and villains can also fly, and seem to fly in a similar manner to Superman, where they're just empowered with flight. Basically, you can move in the air any way you want, and that's what I wish I could do. You know, the way Kryptonians fly is really the ideal way, but part of why they're able to do it is because they're also super strong. You see, it's not just the power of flight, it's the Kryptonians also have the super strength. Because flying, especially at high speeds, would be very dangerous. Not to mention it would put such a strain on the body of just a normal human being, you would probably die. Not to mention that breathing would be impossible without super powered lungs. I suppose a person with the ability to fly, who didn't have super strength, could still do it if they were extremely careful and they didn't go up too high. That'd be fun. I mean, it's not nearly as ideal as being able to fly like Superman or Supergirl, for instance, but I'd like to try it. Part of why I like the new Krypton story arc is because there are so many Kryptonians in it and you get to see them in flight. So another way um, you could fly if you can't fly like Superman or Supergirl would be to fly like a Green Lantern. Now, now, that's a pretty ideal way to fly if you're a normal human being. If you don't have super strength, you can still protect yourself with a force bubble around you or even armor. And of course, this is made from your own willpower. I think this would probably be the most ideal way to fly after the Kryptonian type of flying. You can fly in space and you can basically fly and do anything Superman can do uh, with regards to flying, but it does have the one drawback of needing your constant attention. And and you have to use your willpower to do it. Next up, another option would be something quite different. You can fly the way the Rocketeer flies. I call it the Rocketeer method. This is a way to fly that actually seems rather possible, although it's probably really dangerous. You fly with a rocket on your back, and this technology has yet to be perfected, but in the movie and in the comic books, it works really great. You can't hover as far as I know, but that seems like something that could be perfected. I know in sci-fi they have jetpacks where you can hover as well as fly, but you in the Rocketeer you can fly really high and really fast. I haven't read any of the Rocketeer comic books though, so, and they look really interesting, and a lot of the art is really superb. I've seen Darwin Cook and Alex Ross both do drawings of the Rocketeers, so if you've read them, let me know in the comments what you thought, and which run, which run you read, and all that. So alright, last but not least is the Batman method. Now Batman has flown pretty much every Every possible way a human can fly over the years. He's been shown they had a Batcopter in the Batman 66 with Adam West and Burt Ward. They had a Batcopter. There's numerous versions of the Batplane. You you know, you see the Batplane all the time. And of course there's gliding, like he does all the time. He glides through the air using his cape in different movies and quite prominently in the Arkham game series. So he would represent the more realistic methods of flight in comic books and Batwing has expanded 
continuing on this same theme. So, what is your favorite superpower? What superpower would you like to see reviewed next time? Let me know in the comments, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot, and as always, thank you for watching. End of line.